Hey guys, this is Kasa from Game Previews, and I got some Xbox news for you guys today. So for those of you guys who don't know, today and basically most of this week is going to be GDC, which stands for the Game Developers Conference, and there's going to be a lot of news coming out of there today. So you're probably going to be seeing a lot of news uh, from my channel, and if you guys aren't subscribed, you guys might want to to get the latest news. Uh, but this video in particular is about Xbox and uh, what they have announced so far, and it's actually pretty interesting. So let's get into it. So Chris Charla from ID at Xbox uh, essentially today announced that Xbox Xbox Live uh, will support cross network play. Um, so in the article it goes into depth about what that means but essentially what that means is people on the Xbox Live network can play online with people on different platforms. So basically what that means is someone who's playing uh, let's say Call of Duty on the Xbox Live can play with people on the PC version. But there is a little bit of disclaimer here so let's just get into that first. So here's the disclaimer. So although Xbox did announce this feature, the support for it ultimately goes back to the game developers. So for whatever reason if the game developers don't want to support this feature they don't have to so it is on a game to game basis so it's not going to be a system wide feature that just magically enables it for every game it still does depend on the game developer so then for example if the game does support the cross network play from the developers themselves uh, they still need to get some permission from other console makers for the pc versions it'll basically support it right away but when we're talking about sony themselves or nintendo for the future project nx when it inevitably gets third party support those companies will actually have to say yes you can uh, cross play what that's for it to work. So although Xbox has uh, announced this, it's sort of like a first step. They still need game developers to hop onto this, which I don't see any reason for them not to for the most part, depending on the game, obviously. It's just Xbox's first step here of getting cross-network play. Other companies, other console makers still need to agree to this. And then at the end of the day, it's still up to the game developers. If you guys are worried that, say, Call of Duty in the future enables this and people from PC just automatically start playing Xbox or PlayStation gamers, rest assured, you still have a choice. So Xbox explicitly states that if you do want to just play with console gamers themselves, then you don't have to play with PC gamers. There's still an option just to play with Xbox Live gamers. So uh, you guys don't have to use this feature for every single game. It's just there as an added bonus. And I think that Rocket League is supporting this pretty soon. And I think for that game in particular, it actually should be pretty fun because I don't think there's any advantage on PC over a console for this type of game. So yeah, I'm, surp I'm surprised by this uh, news, but I'm really liking it. Hopefully PlayStation also does something like this so then we can have Rocket League for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation cross network play but so far it's just for xbox and pc but that was the news for gdc for xbox one so if you guys like game previews and game news in general then please subscribe to me i'm going to have a lot of more information from gdc uh, the next video I'm probably going to make is the PlayStation's GDC, which hopefully will announce the price for the VR headset. Uh, so keep it locked here if you guys are new here, and if you guys are subscribed here already, thank you for supporting me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, guys, and also just one last thing here, um, I do want to give a shout out to a YouTube channel by the name of Usman, I'll have it in the description below. Uh, he makes uh, gaming videos too now, and uh, uh, I think he deserves a lot of support. He actually has way more subscribers than me anyways. Uh, so you guys should go check him out as well. I'll have that in the description below. And uh, hopefully you guys go over there and subscribe and let him know who, who uh, brought you there. So that was it, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.